Jay McCall reporting live. It is Friday night. I'm here with brother-in-law Andy Nee. We're about to get down with some Friday night magic, as one does. Uh, but but first, we need to eat. And uh, Pizza Shop by Flower just opened up in the old Delfino's location. And we want to give it a try. Uh, so this was the Ode to DeFara, uh, yep. who recently passed away. If you never got a chance to go to DeFara's in Brooklyn, it was an excellent shop. I uh, once dropped my phone on the pizza trying to take a picture of it. Uh, but this pizza... I mean, we waited a while for this. It looks great. It's just Elio's kind of like it's it's definitely it's better than Elio's. But we were expecting uh, this is around about thirty bucks for an eight slice pie, and I feel like the quality is there, but it just didn't for something that Andy literally just walked over two yeah. blocks with. I expected like piping hot with the cheese is coming off. I mean, the basil's nice. The ingredients are there, yeah. but compared to like the square pie ten street, and you go way back with the ten street guys. Yeah. They're great guys. Yeah. Uh, but thankfully, uh, Cynthia just got back, and um, sorry for the rustling, that's Milo, he doesn't know we're recording right now. Uh, <laughs> Cynthia just brought back some Chengdu Wan, probably some of the best Sichuan cuisine. Oh, how timely. That you can get in, I didn't even, I didn't print that. <laughs> some of the best Sichuan cuisine you can get in the area. Uh, what's the other one in the Heights that we that you've gotten before? Is that King Sichuan, perhaps? No. We always do Chengdu Wan. Always Chengdu do Wan. Oh, a... always Chengdu Wan. Always okay, Chengdu. Cynthia's experimented with some other places. Uh, but Chengdu One, excellent. And you go there, and the kids are doing their homework on the table, yep. so it's got that legitimate appeal to it. And at the same time, the Sichuan food, excellent. I mean, like Kimming and Hoboken, before they opened, it was a wasteland here for, for good Sichuan food. Like, you had, we had to go up to, I don't know, over, like, Grand, people say Grand Sichuan in Jersey City, but uh, maybe years ago. It's years ago. It's, yeah. it's fallen off. Um, and then there's Uncle Momo? Is it? No, no, no. It's the one over by Newport. There's another so Chef Tan? One. Chef Tan. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. What was it? But Chengdu One? Very legitimate. So we got the Lazaji, which is the, um, you're going to find this under many names at different restaurants. Uh, but this is a great way. If you have leftover Lazaji, and I love to, after you eat the chicken, save the peppers. I used to, at Mongo I used to stir this up with some, put it in a uh, power bolt with those mixer things. What do you call those? The little bullets. Oh, yeah. true, 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 bullet. Yep. With some uh, Greek yogurt and make a nice dip. Oh, it's a next level thing. And you just dip, dip some uh, pita chips in it. Great. It was a great way to do stuff in our kitchen because they wanted to give us free food, but they didn't give us really good free food. So mm. we, had to, we had to make it work. So anyway, so the lozaji with the pizza really elevates the pizza in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's so good. So good. And another pro tip, always in comments. If you're eating Cheetos and you don't want to get your hands dirty, my hands are already filled with this greasy pizza, but... Chopsticks. Chopsticks for the pizza. Chopsticks for the Cheetos. They're great. Aunt Michelle gave us these Cheetos. You wouldn't know it, but the bet my it's just a little spicy. <laughs> They're a little bit past the best by date, but you know, Andy didn't know. If he had a Cheeto, he probably he wouldn't have known. Mm -hmm. if I didn't say it right now. Now we also have this leftover beer from our friend uh, Lindsay Mendoza. This is a main beer company, Spring India Pale Ale. Um no tasting notes in this. I actually didn't even sip into it yet. We just, like, literally, we just got the pizza about five minutes ago, and then Cindy walked in the door with, with this excellent chicken <laughs> one leftovers. That's hoppy. That's a, that's a hoppy beer. IPA, true to name. Uh, so there, Friday Night Magic, we're going to crack open some packs of this new set and see what kind of crazy mechanics they got out here. Um, uh, but other than that, uh, join us next time, uh, and hopefully we'll have some better pizza. Like, I want to like these guys, because, they're you know, they're new. I don't want to crap all over someone's... We're going to give them another shot. We'll see where it goes. Bye-bye.